OK, so to the bivariate and trivariate. Since this is a large section, it is nice to have a couple of sentences before the first subsection. Maybe something just to set the scene and refocus the reader, such as, in this section, several potential factors that may influence the one-year return performance of superannuation funds will be considered. The same structure template can be used for each of the bivariate subsections. For the bivariate analysis, you are also looking to comment on which factors most strongly influence the one-year returns, and so this type of comment can be a good concluding sentence in each, in each subsection. You will need to include three subsections as outlined in the task sheet and in the first help recording. 4.1, impact of investment type on one-year returns, 4.2, impact of three-year returns on one-year returns, and 4.3, impact of three-year returns and investment type on one-year returns, which of course is the trivariate. And so for each of the subsections, we still need to follow the report writing conventions, and so a good template is intro sentence, then the chart or table, features, interpretation and analysis. Since we have already spent a fair bit of time talking about how to write sections in the previous help sessions, for this session we are going to think more about Excel, but remember in this part of the report we are trying to see what factors, if any, influence the one-year returns achieved. So to the Excel. For the impact of investment type on one-year returns, the first thing to think about is what kind of variables we have. One-year return is numerical and investment type is categorical. For this mixed bivariate combination, we can use both the rows and the columns of the pivot table, making sure that the numerical variable is in groups. This can then be turned into either a clustered, stacked or 100% stacked bar chart. You can try these options to see which you think shows the relationship, if any, between these variables, and therefore specifically whether investment type has an impact on the one-year return. Of course, as the chart you create in doing this will have a lot of information within it, it is also useful to actually begin this subsection with something more basic to help us see if there are any differences between the different investment types. We have a whole lot of one-year returns, we have analysed them overall, but in thinking about investment type, we can look to using some of our basic numerical measures, but just on the one-year returns for a specific type at the one time. For example, we can see whether the average one-year return for funds investing in property is the same or different to, say, the average one-year return for funds investing in cash. And in fact, we can look at every investment type category. While we could just sort the whole data set so that the one-year returns for different types are grouped together and then just use lots of individual average formulas, we can do this analysis more quickly by creating a pivot table. Put investment type into the rows area and one year return into the values area and then change the field settings so that you calculate an average rather than a count. The answers will initially be in decimal format but these can be switched to percentage just by changing the number format. The idea is that you could use these averages from each type to see if any differences such as whether some have higher or lower average returns and then expand on this by looking at the more full distribution chart created earlier. You should discuss the trends and your conclusion about whether the investment type has had an impact using some specific examples. You can think about whether low or high averages are linked to the risk level for each type also. So hopefully there are some ideas for what to do in that subsection. For impact of three-year returns on one-year returns, we have two numerical variables, and so we should think about using a scatter plot to visualize. Also have a think about what measures are useful for this kind of bivariate data. Think about what trends you see, describe it, and also discuss whether it is expected or not and why, and therefore then conclude about the impact on the one-year returns. For impact of three-year returns and investment type on one-year returns, this is trivariate analysis, and so it allows us to consider both the possible influencing factors for one-year returns, or I should say both influencing factors that we've already considered on the one-year returns at the same time. So from an analysis point of view, you will need to think about your conclusions from the previous two subsections and then use this section, or this subsection, 4.3, to extend on that analysis. 
In terms of the Excel, we have two numerical variables and one categorical. And so we can visualize by extending our scatter plot type chart from the previous subsection to include a third variable. We create this new scatter plot by creating different colors for the different investment types. And so we end up being able to see the relationship, if any, between one year and three year for each investment type category. Okay, this is the last of the help sessions. Hopefully they're all four have assisted in uh, you working on the report. Don't forget we still have consultation sessions, so make sure you take advantage of those as well as Facebook to talk to each other about what you're finding and any issues um, including things like Excel. Um, Facebook can be very useful for that and we want you to all help each other. You still have to write your own reports, uh, but it can be nice to discuss some of the ideas with other students as part of the process. Okay, that's it. All the best with the report.